Are your Trello boards getting out of hand or are you a new agent that wants to know how to start and organize your Trello board the right way the first time? Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about my two top tips on how to organize your Trello board for real estate agents. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and I am a real estate coach that teaches agents how to use systems to grow their business and make more money in less time. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button to get notified of new videos every week. So I used Trello uh, in my business for my contract to close system uh, for years. Um, I think it's a great system that you can use with uh, your transaction coordinator to keep on top of all of the transactions that are kind of going on at the same time. So, but it can get out of hand. Um, you know, you can end up with, you know, a million boards and then you're wondering where to find everything and what everything is named and, and all of that. So I can understand how it can get very overwhelming uh, once you start using Trello on a regular basis. So today I wanted to share with you two tips on uh, how to organize your uh, Trello boards. So the first tip is to create multiple workspaces uh, specifically for your different systems. So in Trello, each workspace can only have up to 10 boards. Uh, but if you need more boards than that, then I would break down uh, your um, you know, system or your business into different workspaces. So for, uh, for their contract to close, I would create a new workspace and just name it contract to close. That way you know that anything that uh, you're doing in terms of buyer contracts, seller contracts, anything that is in progress would be going on in your contract to close workspace. Uh, you can invite your team later um, and now you have a specific workspace that is just dedicated to your buyer and seller contract to close systems. Um, and then if you have other, you know, Trello boards, you know, like any personal boards or maybe lead generation, marketing, other business boards and stuff like that, that can go in a separate workspace uh, so that you can keep all these different things organized. So once we go back to Trello, now you can see that there is a separate contract to close system or workspace here. So then you can add in your boards here for, for contract to close. Um, now I have my boards down here in another workspace, so I'm going to show you something else about what you can do um, here. So let's say you've got your uh, systems here, uh, your boards here, and uh, you don't like the order of these boards because Trello basically, you know, puts them in uh, alphabetical order. But let's say you um, want to have your seller boards first or there's a specific order that you want to see it. Uh, so what you can do is you can actually come in here and just rename your boards uh, by the number like as a numbered list. So let's say I want this to be, um, you know, my first one, then you can see that that just pops up to the top. So this one, let's say I want this one to be the second one here. Uh, let's see, I'll do this one as the third one. And then I'll do this last one as, you know, the fourth one here. Actually, I've got one more that I will put as number five. So you can see here that now it's really easy uh, to reorganize your boards uh, so that, you know, when you're clicking on here, you know exactly which board uh, to go to every single time. Um, and then once you look at your boards here, um, you know, you can see sometimes they're out of order here because this is right now sorted by most recently active. But now when you go to sort alphabetically A to Z, then you can see they're all in the order that you want them to be. So those are my two tips on uh, how to organize Trello uh, so that, you know, your contract to close system is all in one place and uh, each of your boards are in the order that you want them to be in. So if you like this video, uh, you definitely want to check out my other video on how to specifically use my um, Trello system and templates that, that you can also purchase that I use in my own business. And if you guys need any help with your systems, feel free to reach out to me. You can also check out our website at citrustemplates.com for more templates, courses, and other things all about real estate systems. Talk to you guys soon.